It seemed like no matter what the time or the place was at a little kid, I was always in my head. I was never in class with the rest or out during recess. I was always drawing my own stick figures, putting stories to them. Never got accepted by the other children. I was the scapegoat in the back. But as I grew up, I made up a rule of that, I guess. I could get along with anybody, especially when I showed them my musical potential. When I could flow the most genres, they were like, damn, this kid is a pirate. And that made me feel good on the inside for a while until I started seeing the real insides of most of these kids. Most of them were dark and depressed and full of shit. They didn't know what they were doing with their own life. So why would I listen to them? I was a troubled child, and I think we all usually were troubled children. But I <laughs> made a lot of mistakes, man. We all do. We learn from them, right? We pick up that sauce and back up, because that's how we learn. When I got out of high school, it was a little cooler. I started working so much harder. Started working for Comcast, technical support, and that job sucked. <laughs> and so with every other job, I guess I'm not the kind of freaking work or do any kind of labor if I'm not my own boss. And you f the f off. I guess that's my look. I'll look on it. And then I joined the army because I was sick and tired of the direction my life was going. I was drinking myself into a freaking coma, not knowing. And I was suffering from the codependency. I thought every girl that wanted to be with me wanted to stay with me no matter what and work everything out because they wanted me to be their hubby to be, their boyfriend to be, and always stay and stick with me. But that wasn't the case. We were both young, but she was mainly stupid, young, and dumb. But I was still, I'm not gonna regret the fact, neglect that most everyone is, at least until the mid-30s, and then they start understanding and realizing shit. But anyways, back to the life story. When I joined the army, I was learning a lot, and I made a lot of friends. I really made some friends until the end. They were like my family. I would die for my brothers and sisters who wore the same colors as me with the army American flag on my shoulder. I would jump on a grenade for you and roll over if it ever happened. But we experienced a lot when I was called to go active and go to Iraq. And I didn't want to go back, go home or anywhere else but there. Part two be coming. Unbeatable clean. Meet unbeatable drop.